G'day guys, if you're thinking about putting a Vario heat, those Trema Vario heat room heaters in your caravan, uh, they're yeah, a fair bit more expensive than a diesel one, but the thing is, once they're installed, there's no more maintenance and you don't have to have a separate, you know, little diesel tank that you've got to worry about. And um, yeah, so they're super, you know, super clean, super efficient. Um, we just sort of uh, did one in a uh, Jayco Silver line, so stay tuned, I'll, I'll take you over and uh, show, you what, show you how it all ended up. G'day guys, Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. We're talking about the Truma Vario heat, uh, room heater. So I'll just show you the install that we did here. It's quite a massive van, this one, it's the Outback. It's got the, uh, the, the slider on it as well. So it's, yeah, it's pretty massive inside. So I um, originally thought we might be able to get it under here, uh, but that wasn't the case either. And there'd, there'd be stacks room under this table here, which would have been good, but that means a vent would go out into where the annex is. Um, and I think you can get a closed off annex, so um, could be a possibility that it could, uh, you know, be closed off and then gas someone, but very rare, but you still, we're still sort of bound by that anyway. Um, so the, the only really place we could have put it is under the bed here, okay? So you can see, um, it's all, all, all put in. So this is where the, it sucks the air in. So it sucks the air in there, heats it up, and then pushes it out the vent here, okay? And this is, you know, twistable, so you can turn it around. Now, in the uh, instructions, they're very, they're very um, fussy about sharp 90 degree bends, okay? And also one of the diagrams in the instruction booklet of how to install and stuff, it's very deceiving because the, 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 um, the sort of the exhaust for it comes out the bottom and then out the side. But then later on down in the actual, um, you know, the words, uh, the instructions, it says it can't go through a horizontal plate. But then the diagram shows it doing that. But what they're saying is you can put it up on something and then go through like this and then out the external wall, but you can't go through the floor and then out to the external wall, okay? So it's got to go through. Now with this slide, there was no way that I could get into this. Uh, we, we, we took the bed off and yeah, so nothing like that worked. So what I ended up doing is here's the exhaust um, pipe. So this is the external exhaust pipe. Now there's a smaller one inside that that the hot air blows out, okay? And then the, the, the air there, because it's a room sealed appliance, the air gets sucked in for, for the burner around, like just inside this big pipe, and then the, the exhaust gets blown out. So it's getting cooled down the whole side. So it's a really, really good system. That means you won't get any gases in, inside either. So what I, what I did is I drilled, you see, like on a 45, and then I had to, you know, use the special Sikaflex to sort of match it up. And you can see how it's just gone through and then out the wall there. So very neat, you know, nice sweeping bends. So it's come up sweet. That's probably the only spot we could it could fit because we, we couldn't go through here because, um, you know, it's all locked in. Now with these Jayco's and stuff, the cupboards get installed first on the floor. Like the floor gets down, um, even the liner gets down, the cupboards get installed and then the gas fitters and the plumbers and everything and, and you know, auto electricians can run all their stuff through the cabinets walking along. And once they're all finished, then they put the walls on, okay? So it's very easy for them to run it all and then put the walls on and it's all good, you know, but so all this is in, in position. So you'd have to take the walls off to get it apart. So that's why we had to, to, to do that. Now, um, my mate next door in, uh, in the unit next door, he's an auto electrician. So he's done all the auto wiring, hooking up to the battery, putting the fuses in and stuff like that. He's put the sensor just down here on the other side. Okay, so that'll test the temperature and turn it on and off. Now there's plenty of room for the, for the air to come in, in through here and then into there. Um, put the Vario heat up here. So this is the, you know, the button for it to, to turn on and everything. So nice and high, you can see what you're doing. Ah, uh, yeah, so turn up sweet. Um, the gas pipe, I had to sort of do a bit of a wing around and down because there was all these beams and pipes and stuff in the way. So you've got to be super careful not to hit anything. So, but that's all worked out fine. Um, there's a little test nipple down here because it's very important that once, when it's working at its max, the, they give you a range of how many kPa it's meant to be, and it was like 1.8 to 2.2, it had to be in that range, and it was spot on two kPa, so that was sweet, so it's all, all running great. Gee, it cranks out some heat too, so it does really extend the range of your camping, because you can camp in winter, it doesn't really matter, because it's nice, uh, nice and uh, warm inside your van. Um, apparently the dog used to sleep here, so I don't think you'll be sleeping there anymore, because it'll be super warm. And one another thing important when you when we put the vent in, you need at least 500 so nothing blows onto it. Okay, so I'll just take you around the around the back here and show you how I've come out the um, out the wall. So I got the Jayco. Here's a slide out. All right. All right. So here it is here. 
here's the, the vent. So this, this bit here is where the, the hot air comes out and it sort of forces, forces down like this. And the, the air for the combustion, it gets sucked in, in this round. Now this aluminium um, sort of casing that it's, it's pushed into the wall here, it's on an angle, like a 15 degree angle. So any water that goes on here or anything like that, it's not gonna, it's not gonna um, you know, go up into that, into that unit at all, all right? It's just, it's gonna, it can't do it. So it's a very, very good design. You know, and you just got to make sure that these um, these vents are nowhere near, you know, openings or windows or anything like that. So if you're thinking about getting a Truma, um, very heat installed in your van, so you don't have to have the diesel and you don't have the maintenance or anything like that, give us a call. They're not that hard. So I'll tell you, putting the uh, toilet in the limo bus that I've done, you can watch that video. That was a, a lot harder than these things. So yeah, nice and easy. Um, the gas run, we've, we've run all the way from the front all the way to the, sorry, from all the way from the back to the front. And you can see that was a, Bit of a bit of a mission to get it through. I'll show you. This is my new gas pipe here. So it runs all the way through, through here, through the chassis, all the way down. And then I'll show you at the back there. Uh, it goes, it comes up here. I'll show you where it comes through. So we had, I don't know if you can see it. So this is where it, where it comes out. Just there, if you can see it. And that's the, uh, the water pipe we had to avoid and everything. So all runs up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you live in WA and you want a Truma, Bureau Heat installed, give us a call. Got my mate Glenn, who uh, is in the unit next to the electrician, so we can, if he's not busy, he can wire it up for you. All right, guys, I'll catch you later.